why is that? Well, the, you know, essentially we've been hearing that this was a Fast and Furious was a botched program that somehow thousands of guns ended up and fell into the hands of the wrong people. But if you look at the documentation, you look at you know the whistleblower testimony, which has been consistent for 18 months, while um, the people within the government who have been trying to cover it up have been inconsistent for 18 months. The intention was not ever to track and trace guns. They said they wanted to track and trace guns. They were going to allow these guys to take them to cartels so they could track and trace it through the cartel network. The problem is, out of 2,500 weapons, only two of those, those guns had GPS recording devices in them. Not a very effective tracing or tracking program. Um, you look at the testimony from John Dodson. He said under oath that this was, you know, giving guns to criminals was the plan. It was mandated. Another uh, ATF whistleblower, Peter Fraselli, said we weren't giving guns to people who are hunting bear. We were giving guns to people who were killing other human beings. And so um, this was a program where they were arming Mexican cartels in order to push a political agenda, which is why they're so adamant about covering it up, because if the American people knew as a whole that they were willing to send guns to criminals who were using them to kill people, um, it would be a major problem for the Obama administration. And as your book says, this is the uh, bloodiest scandal because there's not only the death of an American ATF agent, but there's a death of the deaths of many people in Mexico, mm -hmm. is that correct? At least 300. The Attorney General in Mexico has confirmed at least 300 people have been killed as a result of Fast and Furious. But keep in mind, because they didn't track and trace these guns, the only way to tell um, when they're, you know, and, and trace them now is when they're left at violent crime scenes in Mexico. There's no way in telling how many crimes they've been used in um, before they're left at their final resting place. Um, and, you know, the Attorney General, Eric Holder, isn't willing to admit much, but he is willing to admit that we'll see the deaths of uh, many people for years and years to come as a result of this program.